So uh, two years ago, I had planned uh, to come here to Italy to ride in the Alps with some couple friends, three friends from uh, Canmore that we live with. And uh, I remembered reading and watching uh, Giovanni Battalin in the early 80s when I started to cycle on how he won the Giro and the Vuelta. I'd learned that he had a museum with all different artifacts from when he raced. So I had uh, I'd wanted to come by here and, and uh, and, and see the museum. So I did not, uh, I, I knew that he had been making bikes uh, back in the day. I didn't know that he was back into making the steel bikes. Um, so my older son and I, we came here, we have uh, relatives that live nearby Marostica, and uh, we came here unannounced and started to look around the museum. And then moving on to the workshop uh, that, um, that Alex and uh, Giovanni took us through and just to kind of see how they're building the bikes now and uh, how they had been building the steel bikes back in, in the 80s when he started to when he first started building frames and then I caught uh, I caught my eye on the uh, Portofino and I had no intentions on buying a bike but it was my son who convinced me he said you know you've your bike is older and you've been buying us bikes and sporting equipment uh, both you and mom have been buying us bikes and such for all these years and you should treat yourself so i got talking to alex and giovanni took uh, took all my measurements because they are custom fit and um you know one thing led to another and i mean i really fell in love with the looks of the bike and i really enjoyed how the steel bikes that I had would ride and how they felt. Um, and I'd always wanted a custom steel bike back in the 80s and 90s when I was when I was riding a lot and competing at a very amateur level. Um, so we basically, you know, spent one afternoon here and then uh, came back the second day um, with really uh, the intention that, okay, I'm here now. I'll talk to Alex and Giovanni. We'll see about uh, the bike that I might want to buy uh, because we were heading back to Canada a couple days later. And so we went through the list of different components and such. And uh, when I came back or when we came back the second day, I'd made up my mind, I'm going to order Portofino. Let's go for it. And the rest, as they say, is history. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the bike, Alex and I were con conversing back and forth. I mean, we had basically had everything set up as to what I wanted the build to be uh, in those two days that we were here in, in Marostica at uh, Oficina Batalin. And really from that point on, it was all the details were there. It was basically just, you know, when, are the bike, when is the bike going to arrive and that sort of thing. And, uh, you know, that was in September, the end of September 2019, and the bike arrived in January 2020. 20 and uh, you know I was looking at this bike in amazement and the, the look of it and the quality and such and uh, you know it was minus 20 in Canada at that point and so I pulled out my rollers which were about 30 years old and I hopped on them and started riding and really I could not wait to get it onto the road and uh, you know last summer summer of 2020 um, every chance I had I'd get out onto the road with it so it, uh, it, it really was, um, it blew away my expectations. You know, people would see the bike and they go, you know, it's too nice to ride. And I would tell them as beautiful it is, as it is to look at, it even rides more beautiful than, than what it is to look at. And uh, it's exceeded my expectations in all departments. To me, it's, uh, I, I've had a, a history of bad, of, of back problems and, and such, and uh, the bike is just so much more comfortable. You know, even, you know, the Pinarello Gavia that I had, it's, it's got a tighter geometry on it. Um, this one is just a little bit more, the wheelbase is a little bit longer, and it is just so much more comfortable to ride. I don't race anymore. I like to get out and go for long rides in, in our Canadian mountains. And um, it, it really is a super comfortable ride. And I remember the first time I got onto the road with the bike, 
it actually felt like it had a motor in it. I'm like, this thing is just, every time I'd get onto the pedals and really push, it would just accelerate like nothing I'd ever had before. Um, I was not really interested in getting a carbon bike because I'd broken one in a bike race, you know, back in the 90s and I, I wanted to stay away from them for that reason. Um, and even the titanium bike that I have, I feel that um, the ride quality would be better on the steel bike, on the, on the Portofino, than it is on the titanium, just because I find that the Thai bike is, um, I feel a lot more road vibration through it. You know, I've been on rides of up to 170 kilometers locally in, in where we live in Canada, and I get off the bike, um, my body feels totally fresh, other than my legs that are tired. But as far as any sort of, um, you know, road pain or, or anything like that, my body is totally, uh, totally fresh and relaxed. So it's amazing, okay? Uh, being passionate about cycling and, and watching the races and that and, and reading and hearing about the history on these roads that cyclists have, have raced on and Giovanni has raced on and won races. Um, it was, um, it, it's quite something to be riding the bike on there. Um, you know, as far as climbing and that, that, uh, that sort of thing, it, it really is like every time you push down on the pedal, and even at my age, it's, it gets harder and harder, but you know, you, every pedal stroke, the bike is so efficient, okay? Um, and one thing that I have found all along with the bike is how fast it is descending, okay? Um, and I know one of the things that Alex and I were, that I was debating on and Alex convinced me to go with was the disc brakes. And now that I've been in the Alps, um, and even any of the, the roads around Marostica that we or any of the climbs that we've done, to have those disc brakes and the, the stopping power of them, because the bike is so fast going downhill, I'm glad that I chose that because I don't know if, if a rim brake bike would have been the same. Um, I, I wouldn't have been as, as safe, I wouldn't have felt as safe descending with a rim brake bike as I do on the disc because this bike really is so fast. Like it's, it's, it's scary how fast it is. So uh, it, it really is a joy to ride in these mountains here. So especially knowing all the history, um, you know, today we rode up um, to Monte Grappa and, and knowing that these are, you know, this was a road that I'm sure Giovanni has trained on many times. And, you know, that's where he learned how to ride a bike or how to race and then to you know how he's got into building bikes right so there's a lot of history in this region riding on these roads uh so it kind of it was it was uh kind of it was very heartwarming for me to uh to know that a lot of history was associated in this area with this bike on these roads so mm -hmm.